Hey, this is Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we have a very interesting video for you. We're going to be opening up a pretty old playset with the Rose Art Fundo Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Maker Action Playset, and it is 24 years old, so it's going to be fun just to see what type of shape that Fundo's in. We're also going to open up a couple of the Nickelodeon Kid Robot Ninja Turtle Blonde Boxes, which is how we're going to start this video off. Let's go ahead and open up this first Blonde Box. So we've opened a few of these on the channel so far. We've gotten a lot of the Ninja Turtles that I wanted to get. The only one that I'm missing out of the four Ninja Turtles is actually going to be Leonardo. I have not gotten him yet, so I'm still looking for him. But I got the other four, or excuse me, the other three Ninja Turtles. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. And we got a foot soldier, it looks like. So this is actually going to be... I think the third foot soldier that we've gotten from that one case. So here is our foot soldier. And we actually still have half a case left, so we still have plenty more to go before we run out of those. And this is actually right here, this little character is, I guess that's supposed to be Donatello. That's what we made with the other Ninja Turtle Turtle Maker Play-Doh playset, the much newer one. We did that video a few weeks ago. And let's go ahead and open up the other Kid Robot Blonde Box. Let's see who we get. Got a turtle, and there's our Leonardo. How exciting is that? I was sitting here just talking about him, and out he comes from the box. So that was pretty lucky. Let's go ahead and take his little swords out. So here is our Leonardo. And I just noticed as I was turning him that little defect right there on the sword. Other than that though, he's in pretty spotless shape. That's pretty neat. And just to give you guys kind of an example, here's the Raphael that I thought looked just phenomenal, especially with those weapons. Here's kind of a look at both of them. And I was wondering in the one video if Leonardo's shell was going to be the same as Donatello's. And it looks like it's actually the same as Raphael's. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you look real closely right there, it says 1990. And right here, it says 1990. So this is a really old, old playset. And the box, even though it's never been opened, I don't believe, the box is in pretty rough shape just from the aging <laughs> over the years. Well, let's get this thing open and we'll see what comes popping out of here. All right, so inside the box we have one fundo, two fundos, and three fundos. And you can actually hear it sounds like dirt. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun to open up. And uh, we did get this really cool little poster, kind of. I guess it's a poster. There's nothing on the back. I guess this was actually supposed to be the play mat, now that I think about it. This is probably where you're supposed to do your Play-Doh and Fundo stuff, but we're going to save that. That's a pretty cool little, little picture. We'll just put that back there in the back. Now, inside of here is going to be some different Play-Doh tools. Let's go ahead and get this opened up and we'll see what we got. We have a roller. That's pretty. That's actually really useful for Play-Doh stuff. We have a little sculpting knife, a circle, a star. I don't know what a star has to do with a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> we have a box. We have a Play-Doh knife. We have another box. We have a crescent half of a circle. I guess, yeah, I said a crescent. That's not really a crescent. That's just a half of a circle. And what is this? This is going to be the actual Ninja Turtle Play-Doh design, or excuse me, Fundo. And it's red, so I'm guessing that might be Raphael. Maybe. I said that in the other video, I said the purple one was Donatello, but it's just universal. Same thing with this one. I think these are just universal. But you just kind of mash them together with the Fundo inside. And hopefully it will create a Ninja Turtle. And uh, the final piece is a little triangle. Now let's take a look at this Fundo. This is going to be fun. Oh man, look at that. Gross. It's got like little crystals all over it. Wow. 
Now, if you guys press the like button enough, I'll go ahead and taste this in the next video. And I'm just kidding. I'm not going to eat that. <laughs> I'd probably be in the hospital for a week. Let's see what the red one looks like. Wow. That is not red. Woof. And it stinks too. Man, that is disgusting. Let's see what the yellow one is probably the scariest one out of the whole bunch. Okay, it's not that bad. Actually, that's the best looking one. Let's let's try to let's poke it. And it's hard as a rock. You can still kind of it's, it's almost like chocolate where you can kind of just push into it a little bit. But there you go. There's our 24-year-old fundo. Actually, this has a date of 1987 on it, so it's actually even older than the, the playset is. Man, that's some old fundo. We'll go ahead, we'll put our 27-year-old fundo in the trash. I'm going to go wash my hands, and then we're going to make some Ninja Turtles with some Play-Doh. And I'm back, and I noticed one thing when I turned the camera off for just a couple minutes and I was looking at this stuff. It's got a little tiny M right there. And this one also has a little tiny M. So for whatever reason, you get two Michelangelos. These are both Michelangelos and that's all you get with this kit. So let's go ahead and take our green Play-Doh and we're gonna make a Ninja Turtle. I don't know if one can will actually fill up an entire one of these little cutouts, but we're gonna find out. I think it will. Let's go ahead and kind of mash it in a little bit. And let's put it in there and we're just gonna kind of mash it around a little bit to kind of hopefully fit this thing good. And we're gonna take it and we're just gonna slam it shut. And I think this should work pretty good, I hope. We're gonna find out. So here is, oh man, look at that. Let's go ahead, let's try to, let's fix his face. Let's try that again. Let's see, is there any other, there's no other defect other than that, that mark on his face. So hopefully we can get that corrected real quick. Michelangelo is probably my least favorite Ninja Turtle out of all of them, to be honest. But let's go ahead, let's see, let's see what he looks like. It's kind of like a statue of Michelangelo. Now you can use the little butter knife to kind of cut this around. And his face still didn't turn out all that good. So I got it nice and squeezed tight. And there is our Michelangelo. And his, his mouth is still missing. We're going to keep doing this until we get it right. <laughs> we'll just keep adding Play-Doh until his face comes out good. And I'm putting a lot of force into that. Man, his face just does not want to come out good. Look at that. This is getting crazy. I don't know why it won't. It just does not seem like it wants to, to straighten out. All right, well, yet again, it's just, there's something up with that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Let's see. All right, I'll tell you guys what. Since we just can't seem to get this right, here's what the back looks like. Here's what the front looks like. We're gonna take. We're gonna just take the whole play-doh. We're gonna mash it up into a ball. Let's take the rest of it here, and we're gonna start over, and we're gonna see if we can get it right this time. So here it is. Let's go ahead, smash it down. And I'm actually. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take this excess part. We're gonna put it like just like that, and let's really smash it hard there we go all right so apparently <laughs> we cannot make a ninja turtle without these lines and it's actually it's got a line that runs all the way down i don't i don't know what's going on with that, that that's just so strange let's flip them around backwards let's see if it does it when we when we flip it around and mash it again yeah, see, even like right there, it's got a line going down, but his face at least didn't turn out all messed up again. So, but down there, it's messed up. Now, if you guys didn't check out the previous video that we did with the newer Ninja Turtle Maker activity set, this one came with four turtle character molds. You can see one of them right there. 
and we made a few Ninja Turtles in that video. This is one of them that I kept in a container so it wouldn't dry out. So the purple one is the much, much newer activity set and the green one that's kind of mangled up <laughs> is from the older set. But at least his face looks better. Here's the back of them. And again, that just does not turn out too good. We're gonna try it again though. We're gonna make a different we're gonna, we're gonna make a different colored Ninja Turtle with it. The neat thing about these is they will almost stand up. And there it is, and it's slowly working its way into falling back over. Now let's go ahead and take, and there he goes. Let's take the other green Play-Doh that we have. So here is our other shell or mold, and let's go ahead and open it up. And yet again, pretty much the same results with all of these. Let's see what his back looks like. And, yep, so <laughs> does not work too good with Play-Doh. The thing is, this Play-Doh is actually really soft. This is some new Play-Doh right here. This is not like hardened or old Play-Doh. So I'm kind of shocked that it's not making a better Ninja Turtle. All right, so for this one, we're actually going to use Play-Doh Plus, which is a lot softer than just regular Play-Doh. And as you can see, it is slammed all the way down cannot squish it down any more than that let's go ahead and open it up and here is what it looks like hopefully I can get it out without tearing it up too much and yet again he's got a little bit of a crack right there and <laughs> his head's kind of jumbled up so I'm just not having much luck with this older playset and here is a look at all three. Here's a back look at them. So as you can see, I had a little too much fun with the roller when I turned the camera off and kind of smashed my Ninja Turtles down. But uh, yeah, so this is the play set and there's a triangle headed Ninja Turtle. Here's the Play-Doh Plus Ninja Turtle after I crushed them down. We're gonna try one more thing. We're gonna take all three colors Let's go ahead and we'll put this right there. We'll put this bottom piece down here and then let's take this green one over here and we'll put it right there in the middle. And actually, let's get a little bit more color in this thing. We're just gonna make a fruity multicolored blob of a Ninja Turtle. Here's some purple and let's take a little bit of red. At least if we can't make a good looking Ninja Turtle, we can have a little bit of fun with this thing. So <laughs> let's smash it down. We'll see what this looks like. This should be an interesting looking one. So here is the front and there's the back. This might be the best looking one yet. And there he is. So there is our multicolored Ninja Turtle. We need to get some more red though. Let's get the red in on the front. And same with the purple. Let's get a little purple in there. Let's get a little more blue. We're just gonna make a mess here. There's some blue and is there any colors? We haven't used this one yet. Here, here's some orange for his Michelangelo symbol. We'll just put it right there in the middle. And let's try to put them in there right this time. We'll put, we'll put that side in the front and squish them down. And honestly, that might be the best looking one that's come out of there yet. You can actually kind of see some detail on them. But even right there, it's still kind of messed up a little bit. But there is our multi-fruity colored Ninja Turtle and his, his blue headband actually came out pretty good. So there you go. Sorry that the playset didn't turn out a little bit better than what it did, but I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of the Kid Robot Ninja Turtles, be sure to subscribe because once again, we still have half a case to unbox of those. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by.